Proverbs chapter 30. We're almost done. We got two more chapters today and tomorrow. Finishing it up on the weekend here. Uh, it's been a great journey through Proverbs, and hopefully you've gained a lot of wisdom through this. Let's look at a couple of verses today found in Proverbs chapter 30, verse 5 and 6. Then we're going to look at verse 12. It says, verse 5, every word of God is pure. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. And it says, don't add to his words or he will rebuke you and you will be proved a liar. Now, every word of God is pure. And I pray that you have taken the opportunity to be able to read through God's word. Uh, I'm currently reading through the Bible in its entirety again this year. Uh, and about halfway through so far, I'm doing Old Testament three chapters a day, New Testament three chapters a day. I'm not as consistent as I'd want to be sometimes. There's sometimes where I miss a day or two. Uh, but staying as best as I can in the Word of God and allowing it to feed me is the process to being able to understand that every word that God has for me is going to bring me life, it's going to give me opportunities to grow, uh, and it's pure, it's pure truth. And so as you're diving into God's Word, you're going to find things that are going to speak to you, okay? It's going to be a shield to you that you can take refuge in. No matter what situation you're going through in life, God's Word will speak to you through that. And I hope that you've been able to see that through these past uh, 29 chapters that we've gone through so far through this whole month of, of reading through Proverbs, where you've had the opportunity to, to allow God's Word to, to be that shield for you and, and that you can take refuge in the truths that God has for us so that we can find that peace, we can find that rest, we can find that assurance, we can find that strength. Now, what we have to understand is that we can't begin to add to God's Word uh, and, and oftentimes we like to take a verse and, and add to it and say this is this is also what it could say or also what it could mean or what we would want it to say. Uh, because through that it says he will rebuke you and will be proven a liar. Okay, make sure that you know what the scripture is talking about. Make sure that you know and study God's word so that you are not taking away from it or adding to God's word here. Okay, God's word is powerful. Now, let's shift a moment here on this last verse that I want to look at in verse 12. Is that it says, there's a generation that is pure in its own eyes, yet is not washed from its filth. Maybe you see that today. Maybe you see that in uh, the world around you, that there is a generation that thinks that it's pure. That it, it seems uh, that it's pure because it's in their own eyes. Well, I can do whatever I want to because I feel like this is okay. There's no absolute truth. There's no essential guidelines that I have to go through. Therefore, I can make up my own rules and do whatever I want to. Okay? But here's the thing. Yet, it is washed in its own filth. So we see, and if we have those those those. Uh, spiritual eyes looking on those situations, we see the filth that these people are living in. We see what is going on in the reality of these people's lives. And so how are we willing to influence these people? Because there, there's people all around us that are saying, you know what, I, I can live the way that I want to. Uh, this is a the pure life uh, that I'm going to live, uh, how are we willing to stand up for that? And I think it goes back to the previous verses that we were talking about. Are we into God's word? Because if we know the truth, okay, the truth will set us free and the truth is found in God's word. And so that truth will set you free and it also will set free other people. So we have to be willing to be in God's Word and studying God's Word and allowing that to be something that is going to push us to help us grow in the life that we have in Christ so that we can be able to share that with other people who feel like they're doing just fine in their own eyes. So let us study God's Word so that we can grow in our own spiritual life but also be able to help those around us.